Valentine's Day this year may not have gone all that great for you, but if it's any consolation, there is a chance that it would have been much better than what could happen on Valentine's Day in about 23 years. Buckle up folks, because it looks like our Valentine's Day in 2046 might be in for a bumpy ride. NASA is keeping a watchful eye on an asteroid called 2023 DW that could potentially collide with our planet on February 14, 2046. The asteroid is estimated to be around 49.29 meters in diameter and is currently about 0.12 astronomical units away from Earth, which by the way, an astronomical unit is the average distance between the Earth's center and the Sun's center. Although the chances of a collision are considered extremely unlikely, the asteroid is currently at the top of the European Space Agency's risk list, which catalogs all objects that make a close approach to Earth and pose the highest risk of impact. The asteroid is traveling at a speed of about 24.64 kilometers per second and takes around 271 days to orbit the Sun. In 1908, a similarly sized asteroid of about 50 to 60 meters or 160 to 200 feet exploded over a sparsely populated eastern Siberian forest. It caused a 12 megaton explosion that flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 2,150 kilometers squared or 830 square miles. On a larger scale, the asteroid thought to have wiped out dinosaurs were believed to have been between 10 and 15 kilometers wide. New observations could however change the asteroid's predicted path, so do not worry too much. But what if the trajectory did not change and the asteroid was to collide with the Earth? We could only speculate on how to prevent such a disaster in the past. Sending Bruce Willis and a team of drillers to break up the asteroid as in the movie Armageddon is not an option, and not too long ago the only asteroid mitigation strategies that we could come up with were nothing more than theory or fiction. But all that changed in October last year, when NASA's DART, Double Asteroid Redirection Test, mission crashed into the asteroid Dimorphos successfully altering its path and demonstrating humanity's first asteroid mitigation strategy. NASA officials described the process as crashing a golf cart into the Great Pyramid. While that may not sound very effective, the spacecraft only has to slightly alter the asteroid's path by redirecting its trajectory and saving us from a catastrophic event. But what if we were not able to alter the asteroid's path and it ended up colliding with Earth? Many people assume that the size of the asteroid is the only factor to consider, but this is not the case. There are several other variables that must be considered to estimate the potential damage that an asteroid impact could cause. One of the most critical factors to consider is the amount of kinetic energy that would be transferred to the Earth's surface. When an asteroid strikes the Earth, it releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of a shockwave. The power of this shockwave will depend on several factors, including the asteroid's mass and velocity, as well as the terrain it impacts. The angle at which the asteroid enters the Earth's atmosphere is another important factor to consider when assessing potential damage. If an asteroid enters the Earth's atmosphere at a grazing angle, it's unlikely to cause any significant harm. However, a higher angle trajectory increases the risk of severe damage from shockwaves, meteorites, tidal waves, explosions, seismic activity, and the creation of a crater. The composition and density of the asteroid are also crucial factors. Most asteroids that enter the Earth's atmosphere have a rocky composition, which makes them more likely to shatter before reaching the Earth's surface. However, if a metallic asteroid enters the Earth's atmosphere intact, it can cause significant damage due to its higher density. The possibility of an asteroid impact causing fatalities may seem small at first glance, but there are other factors to consider. The location of impact is crucial in estimating damage to humankind. While much of our planet is covered by oceans and uninhabited regions, a collision with an asteroid could still have catastrophic consequences. If the asteroid falls into the ocean, it could create gigantic waves that could reach coastal cities. If it impacts a landmass, it could cause serious environmental damage on a global scale releasing massive amounts of particles into the atmosphere and potentially causing mass extinctions. 
But now let's take a trip back in time to explore some of the most impactful asteroid collisions that have occurred on Earth. These extraordinary events have left behind a trail of destruction, from flattened forests to enormous craters that still exist today. Take the Chelyabinsk event in 2013, for example. Despite the asteroid being only 20 meters in diameter and having a mass of over 10,000 tons, it still generated an enormous fireball that exploded more than 20 kilometers above the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, releasing an energy equivalent to nearly 30 atomic bombs. Fortunately, the damage was limited to shattered windows, compromised building structures, and minor injuries. But what if the asteroid had been metallic and the entry angle had been higher? The consequences could have been catastrophic. In 1908, witnesses reported a sudden flash and a shockwave that threw them backwards when a celestial body with an estimated diameter of about 100 meters hit the atmosphere and exploded at about 10 kilometers altitude. Expeditions later discovered a huge devastated forest in Siberia, but no crater, suggesting the celestial body's composition didn't allow it to penetrate the atmosphere entirely and leaving scientists to speculate whether the celestial body was an asteroid or a comet. But perhaps the most awe-inspiring impact occurred around 50,000 years ago in Arizona, where an asteroid measuring approximately 50 meters struck with enough force to create a crater more than one kilometer in diameter and almost 200 meters deep. Analysis of the asteroid's remains showed that it was primarily composed of iron and nickel, indicating its density was enough to penetrate the entire Earth's atmosphere and create a crater of such size. However, the most devastating impact occurred 66 million years ago on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. A gargantuan asteroid with a diameter of 10 kilometers made its way towards Earth's surface. The asteroid hit the surface at an angle of 60 degrees, creating a crater of epic proportions that spanned a whopping 180 kilometers. The impact was so catastrophic that it caused a mass extinction event wiping out a significant number of species on the planet, including the dinosaurs. The terrain where the asteroid hit also played a part in this catastrophic event. Enormous amounts of gases and particles were released into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and causing temperatures to plummet. This catastrophic event had a devastating effect on the ecosystems of the entire planet. Even today, scientists are still piecing together the puzzle of the Chicxulub impact, trying to understand the complex interplay of factors that led to one of the most significant events in Earth's history. In conclusion, the chances of a catastrophic asteroid impact may seem small, but the potential consequences are enormous. The events of Chelyabinsk, Tunguska, Beringer Crater, and Chicxulub serve as reminders of the devastating power of these celestial bodies. What do you think about the possibility of an asteroid's impact on Earth? Do you believe that we are prepared for such an event? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.